You see, the gentleness, the kindness, the love, the gift, the fruit of the Holy Spirit was deeply embedded in his DNA. As Ron has already said, in 1994 he wrote that letter saying, I now begin my journey into the sunset of my life. But I believe that last Saturday he began a new journey into the glorious presence of Almighty God and he is basking in the sunshine of his love and I believe he is touching the face of God as he said during the Challenger disaster and the Lord is saying to him well done my good and faithful servant let me close with just one thought in the ancient nation of Israel when the temple had been built the Lord appeared to King Solomon and said to him these words, if my people who are called by my name humble themselves and turn from their wicked ways and pray and seek my face, I will hear from heaven and forgive their sin and heal their land. God was reminding his ancient people that the glory of the nation was not in power or prestige, in wealth or in might. Ronald Reagan knew that as a cardinal truth, that ultimately our strength is not in our might, but it is as we depend upon Almighty God and trust in Him and walk humbly before God. Ronald Reagan lived and believed that and thank God that he did. Mr. President, I salute you. Thank you.
The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make His face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up the light of His countenance upon you and grant you His peace now and forevermore. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hey, 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 hey,